So now that we have all the seats out, the first step for me is going to be removing all of the internal paneling so I can see exactly what we're working with for the build. After that, we can give it a deep clean and then begin to sound deaden and insulate. So with all the paneling stripped, I now have full access to the inside ribs of the van, which is going to make running my wires a lot easier. So the next step I want to do is sound deadening. However, before I lay down any of the butyl tape, I need to do a deep clean of all the inner surfaces of the van that the butyl tape is going to stick to. And just start the van with a nice, clean, fresh base. We've essentially hit stage one of the cleaning process, which is to remove all the panels and the floor. And the good news is, it's found four dollars. Van build's already paying for itself. I've used the leaf blower to get rid of as much of the uh, loose dirt as possible. And now we're just gonna go through with some old rags and water. Get this as clean as possible using the old elbow grease method. After an afternoon of scrubbing and sweeping, the van has been deep cleaned and we now have a nice dust-free surface to apply our sound deadening tape to. So the product that I'm going to be using to sound deaden is one-on-one -on -one heavy duty double-sided sealing tape. It's essentially the same product that's marketed as a sound deadening kit for cars, um, just as the raw product and as a result it's about a third of the price. So this is a butyl tape that I picked up from Bunnings. It's about $18 a roll and that gets you 15 meters of tape. I'm now going to run you through a quick explanation of sound deadening in a van and explain to you the purpose as well as my method for getting the job done. So the reason you want to sound deaden inside your van is to dampen the outside noise and make the inside environment a lot more cozy. Without sound deadening, the raw metal panels of your van act as like a drum and echo any external noise throughout the body through vibrations. So essentially, any noise pollution from outside of the van, such as rain or traffic, is going to hit the panels and echo throughout like you can probably hear my voice is doing right now. The easiest way for me to demonstrate this process to you is with the magic of editing. I'm going to show you a quick before and after knocking on the panels and you should be able to hear the difference the tape makes. Here's the panels before they've been sound deadened. To this. So hopefully you can see the merit in doing this and don't skip this step in your own band build. Through my research, I found a bunch of different opinions as to how much of the body you should sound deaden, ranging from 25% to 75%. What I found from my last build is that by covering 50% of the panels in sound deadening tape, you significantly decrease the echo and it led to quite a cozy space. So we're gonna be doing that again this time. So my technique for this is basically run a strip, skip a strip, run a strip on all of the exposed panels that I can get my hands on. Here we go. So the sound deadening is now done and already I think you can hear a difference in how my voice is echoing around the van. It's much quieter and when the insulation goes in as well, it's going to make a huge difference to creating a cozy space inside. Originally I was also going to sound deaden the floors, but if you listen to this, it's a pretty solid piece of metal and I don't think the tape's going to make that much of a difference, especially when I put the subfloor and insulation down. So we're now left with two spare rolls of the tape, but the good thing about Bunnings is if you buy too much of a product, you can always return it as long as you have the receipt and it hasn't been opened. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, remember to chuck me a like to show your support for the channel. If there's any part of that job you want me to clarify further or just want to chat van builds in general, feel free to leave a comment and we can do that there. Subscribe to follow along the rest of the van build and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.